Welcome to another Agency Playbook. Craig Pretzinger here, co-founder of The Insurance Dudes. Uh, what to look for, three important things that you should be looking for if you're diving into the insurance world. So if you've been an agent a while, something to think about. This may be some reflection here. And if you're considering diving in, maybe you work in an agency and now you want to become the owner or you're coming from an entirely different world and, and looking at the insurance business, this is for you. First thing that you're going to want to do is understanding that this is a long play and you're looking at delayed ratification. That doesn't mean necessarily that you got to wait 10, 15, 20 years before this thing starts making serious profits. But what also needs to be considered is how quickly you can get to that situation of profits. Now, the harder you push in the beginning, and this doesn't necessarily mean just you yourself, how hard you're working, but as you'll see, we get into some of the stuff, how hard or, or the ability with which you're able to scale. The first thing I want to look at is talk about the three different types of agencies that you could come into. Number one, there's independent agencies. These agencies, you have access to a lot of different carriers. You could plug in with maybe an agent who's going to bring on other agents underneath them. That'd be called a, an MSA or a master service agency. Now, the beautiful thing about being independent is you're not tied to conform to any standards. For example, some of the carriers are going to require signage or different things if you're only tied to that one carrier. Whereas here, some great opportunities. Now, you don't have a lot of the help from the carrier that you could have if you were plugged in with just one carrier, but we'll dive into those now. Well, the second half would be captive carriers. Let's divide that into two pieces. The first one being captive carriers where you have economic interest in the book. Now, farmers, a couple of the others are going to be more closely aligned with this type of strategy. Now, they're going to also have, in addition to you being an entrepreneur or an independent contractor, because they don't want you. They want your idea. You are going to have agency standards that you have to follow. So it's important to understand that it's kind of like a franchise because you are going to be required to follow and conform to a certain set of rules. But in exchange for that, you could have different commissions. You could have uh, a lot of different opportunities that may not be present in the independent world. And then there's also the captive where you don't have economic interest. This is like State Farm and some other carriers where you can't sell the book out on the open market like you could with farmers or, or one of these other ones, but you can sell it back to the carrier. So that's the first thing is understanding what platform you're going to be, right? Well, how are you going to create the structure of your agency and what works best for you? You don't want to just dive in and do anything. You got to do something that you feel that aligns best with you. It's going to make you feel great every day and make you want to wake up and get to the office. It's important to understand there's going to be a lot of effort put in. And the best way to snowball that agency and create the most amount of premium is to take anything that you make and put it right back in. You got to snowball that money. The faster you're able to snowball and the faster you're able to invest in, in whatever marketing you're going to do to grow, then the faster you're going to get to those higher premiums earlier. We can't recoup time. Yes, you may be learning. The second most important thing to consider when you're jumping into this world that you need to be an expert in hiring and training. This is the most important thing up front because there will be turnover. You will be learning. You're going to make mistakes. It's going to be challenging because you're learning at the same time that you're teaching your team and they're going to be turning over. So it's sort of like you're taking off in the airplane and building it at the same time. So we have to get really good at putting the right people into place so that we could scale. But again, the most important piece is finding the best players for the team and then trading those players. Because if we're writing all the business, we're tapped out maybe 40K, right? Doing everything that we can in the agency. Well, 40K is not scaled growth, but having four, five, six producers who are writing 25 to, to 40K each, that creates scale, that creates speed of growth. Next thing is be prepared to invest in marketing. Marketing is what creates the traffic that then turns into sales. A lot of sales leaders, a lot of agents that you talk to are gonna talk about, well, you gotta get really good at sales, but we have to get good at filling the pipeline as well. And the only way to fill the pipeline is with marketing. For me, I love internet leads. I hated them for years and years but I like to buy internet leads because I can control the traffic. Whatever you're gonna invest your money on in order to drive traffic to your agency, make sure that you understand the benchmark metrics you need to look for and how the anticipated time that it takes to achieve those benchmarks and give it 
more time than those benchmarks because you're likely not going to be doing well necessarily off the bat it's all all of its a learning curve and it's important to not make emotional quick decisions in that marketing venue we want to know our benchmarks we want to work backwards and we want to look after a certain after 30 days after 60 days after 90 days we want to look for trends and we want to look for those where we have improvements. If it's not improving, okay, we're gonna cut it, but we should know if we're going in the right direction. So these are the three things that a lot of folks don't think about or don't dive into uh, as they jump into the insurance industry. So think about those before you dive in and let's crush it in this business. Love it. Wait, 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 listen up. We have something that is incredibly special coming up. We have an event called Elite Agencies Ignite, where top agents from all over the country are going to be speaking and going to be in the audience May 18th, 19th, and 20th. The Konakai Hotel in San Diego. Now there's limited seating, but you're gonna have to try to make it down. Why? Because this event is a three-day immersion event to help you take a quantum leap in your agency. It's a great opportunity to get in the room with 10 other like-minded individuals that wanna grow. I would recommend anybody to come here just because no one is riding as much business as these guys are. Highly recommend it. We just need to get everybody together. Why? Because when you do a mastermind like this and you bring this type of talent together, you can have an incredible Incredible impact. This is going to be one of those events that you're going to look back, and if you don't go, you're going to be so bummed. So come on out, Konakai Hotel, May 18th, 19th, and 20th. We'd love to see you there.